guess what? <laughs> the postman just arrived. Um, I bought a whole bunch of stuff recently that I haven't mentioned or reviewed or anything, uh, including this DJI Lav mic, which you connect to the uh, mic too. Um, so this is my, gonna be my first time hearing what it sounds like, which is good, but it costs half the amount of a Shure or Rode lav mic. And to be honest with you, the difference isn't worth that much extra. Um, so yeah, this is the um, Viltrox 75 F1 II for the Fujifilm X-Mount. And I've also got the Viltrox DC 550 uh, monitor, which I think is great, but I have yet to test it in real life scenario. So, um, okay, well, let's quickly go through what's in this because I cannot wait to use this. Not gonna comment on it, I don't care. Uh, okay, it's sealed. Literally just got this now, so I'm gonna open this up. <laughs> it's, it's funny, it says void underneath, so. Good. So Viltrox is a Chinese um, lens manufacturer amongst other things, but they're pretty much well known for their lenses. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the Fujifilm X-Mount needs more um, high-end, bright prime lenses for sure. So I've got the 23 f1.4. I've got the Viltrox 13 f1.4 as well. Um, and a whole bunch of other lenses, but I needed something that was better suited for portraits. And this with the f1.2 will blur out that background very well. And hopefully, even though it's a stepping motor and not a linear motor, big moment here, should be still very good in focusing. And the good thing about Viltrox is you can update the lenses directly for a USB-C connection. So you got user manual, already outdated most likely. Um, certificate warranty card, that's good. I wonder what their warranty is like. I ordered from pergear.com, not a sponsor or anything. And in fact, I was quite worried about ordering from them, but it arrived in you know, no time really. So no, no different from ordering from any other camera site. Let's start with the main attraction. Boy, this is pretty heavy. There it is. 75, 1.2. Wow. Okay. Fairly light hood compared to the 13 mil F1.4, this one feels a little bit thinner. Lens cap, of course. This has got a, where is it? 77 millimeter thread. And <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but it opens up to F1.2, which is incredible. Yeah, it's set to F1.2. Now we don't get a click or de-click, unfortunately, like uh, the E-mount or the uh, Nikon Z-mount version of this. Uh, we do get a autofocus, manual focus toggle, which for my X-H2S, because I don't have a toggle, this does come in handy. Click aperture ring. I don't think I'd want to use cameras without aperture rings. It just feels so natural. And then here's another thing that I just mentioned. It's got a USB-C port. Um, so I'm going to update it in just a minute. The latest update, which was the third one, um, gives you even better minimum focusing distance. Uh, or at least it helps you get that advertised um, 0.88 meter um, minimum focusing distance. So what I'm gonna do is later on, I'm gonna try and go out and just get first impressions with it. Maybe put this camera on my uh, shoulder strap um, and uh, just give you my first impressions. I cannot wait to capture with this because that F1.2 is gonna be so welcome. So yeah, awesome stuff and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Welcome to scenic downtown Budapest. I'm wearing a DJI Action 4 on my chest and I've got the Viltrox 75 F1.2 ready to go. Uh, this is gonna be my first time really experiencing this lens. And I usually shoot through the viewfinder, so I'm not very good at remembering to shoot like this. But this lens, just heads up, is already magical. 
So I've got the lowest ISO on the X-H2S and I'm just gonna control shutter speed and see what that looks like with the separation at f1.2. And I know I'm not supposed to shoot everything at f1.2, but hey, it's, it's day one. So, all right, let's get going. So that's St. Stephen's Basilica. And I'm hoping that it's open all that I can see that it seems to be closed. So I've got the 75 and I've got a 1024 strapped to uh, my waist. And I think that's a, it's an interesting street photography setup. Very nice. All right, so I wasn't allowed in with the camera. Well, at least two cameras, one strapped to my chest, so that's, <laughs> that's a no on that one. I'm enjoying as that couple there is setting up for their own little photo shoot. I gotta take advantage of them. Okay. We're gonna have to excuse me while I'm shooting through the EVF. So I'm not used to shooting through the screen, so. Oh, okay, let's see. Subject detection if it works. Okay, on and off. Very cute. So in terms of blurring out that background, it's pretty significant. Which when you're shooting APS-C, it's definitely, definitely welcome when you've got that much bokeh to work with. There's also a thing like a skate park right on the other side. So maybe we'll see some action because that stepping motor does tend to pulse a little bit. So if I stand back and try and capture Maybe a trick or two. We'll see how it goes. Okay, camera's still recording. All right, look at this. Perfect example of what I want to see with this lens. A little bit down, still overexposed. Here we go. Uh, I could even, I don't even know what <laughs> film simulation I've got on here. Timeless negative, I think. Yeah. Okay, ready? Some black and white. Very nice. Oh, there you go. Right, excuse me for switching to, to black and white, but I just think this lens. Come on, recognize it's a bird. Let's go. Oh, it's coming closer. 
Oh, look at this. Come on. Why are you so angry? Yeah, let's go. Now what you're not seeing is a group of friends on the other side. But what you will see in the images, I'll try and do it. I'll try and do it justice. Is that this lens does flare a lot, which some YouTubers have mentioned, and they're totally right, but it's not uncontrollable. Igen, fölveszel egy ilyet? Ó, megnézem. Az ajtót megnézek azzal. Na, várja. Oké, ez egy jó test a DJI mic-t, hogy tudod, hogy van-e valami hallgató. Vizu! Jó, csak még nekem kell helyezkedni, de te csináld nyugodtan. Oké, csináld nyugodtan. Oké, csináld nyugodtan. Okay, change of plans, hang on. All right, we're gonna go electronic shutter only. Hundred and fifteen mil is probably not the one for for sports. But it is the one for sure for isolating elements of street photography. I think there's a guy there on his phone. I'm just gonna point at him. It's so nice. Let's see, does it pick up this? To pick up this bird. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, good. Looking very stylish. I'm loving it. Ah, oh, golden hour on a clear day. <laughs> it's unlike anything. Fun fact, this wheel, or at least the system that was used on it, it was originally used in Nottingham in the UK. Because when it first was assembled here in Budapest, they forgot to change the setting on the software, and so it was giving you uh, points of interest around Nottingham, England. <laughs> just to see that 1.2 in action. Nicely done. See if we can incorporate this tree as a foreground. Ooh, car shot, let's go. EV6. The tagline for that car should be, looks better from the outside than the inside. I was a little disappointed in it. Once I got in the actual car. trying different exposures. This used to be my favorite spot as a kid. <laughs> Little inception moment there.
Oh, it's a very, very cute romantic moment. And that's the thing. This lens allows you to just stay out of it while you capture. There we go. Ouchie. Oh, see, mistakes happen. Even at f1.2. Ah, you look amazing, thank you so much. You look great, it's a new lens, so I've never tested it before, but yeah, I love your looks, man. Have a great day. All right, well, I can tell you this. Uh, this is a professional quality, as it says on the batch here, weather sealed 1.2 lens from Viltrox that really makes Fujifilm native lenses run for, for the money, really. Um, it's awesome. Let's see if we can get this guy. Picks up the faces. And some people commented that it has like clinical level sharpness. But to be honest with you, I'm into that, so. I totally love this lens and I'm glad I got my hands on it, so. I think with the sight of this Michael Jackson tree, if you've never seen it before. This is where the King of Pop stayed during his time in Hungary. And I guess we're gonna sign out with the flag. And uh, yeah, well, if you got any questions, happy to answer them. It's a great lens, um, definitely worth the money every cent that you pay for um, and thanks for sticking around these are my first impressions and if you want maybe i'll make a longer video but i'm not really into sitting down with the chart and taking pictures and checking vignetting and stuff so this is it this this is what this lens is like in real life and uh maybe if i get the chance i'll test it at night or i just go into a church that allows me to go in there with a the camera, so. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.